powerful documentary produced by Siskel Jacobs Productions that's garnered national attention and tells the story of a Northbrook mother of three as she reclaims her body after battling breast cancer. Yes. And mommy because she had breast cancer. Cheers. 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 Thank you. But you said had. Yes. So it's over. I have a new body. My mind thinks totally differently than it did before. I do not look like myself, or at least the, the self I have always identified with. I don't know who I am. Why do you want a tattoo anyways? I don't know that the grace before breast cancer would even consider this as a viable option. Oh, how can you not get chills watching that? Please welcome Grace Lombardo and the producer, director of the film, Rachel Pakelny, who is also a breast cancer survivor. Grace, Rachel, thank you so much for being here. You guys are both survivors, right? Yes. Yes, yes to that. Grace, you are the feature of this documentary. How are you feeling today and how long have you been in remission? I have had no evidence of disease for coming up on two years. And I feel wonderful. I feel very healthy um, and I'm feeling great. Yeah, in the documentary you talk about not knowing who the Grace is after breast cancer. Do you know who she is now? I'm still getting to know her every day. Yeah. It's how really is she different? Oh gosh, in so many ways. I know. Um, I found a real sense of self and a real sense of knowing what's important to me. And before cancer, I might have been invited to something and just said yes because I felt I had to go. Right. Uh, but now I'll say maybe that's not what I want to do right now or what's best for me. Yeah. And I'll make that choice on my own behalf. Right. And that's different. That is different. Rachel, how did you find Grace? And tell us about, as you guys call it, your love story. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've gained a good friend through all of this. Um, so I, um, as you mentioned, I'm also a survivor. I was diagnosed about three and a half years ago while I was pregnant with my second child. Um, how far along in your pregnancy were you? I was 25 weeks along. Wow. Yeah, so I was well into the second trimester, um, wow. which was a good thing because it meant that I could, you know, the baby was hardy enough for me to undergo treatment while mm -hmm. I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I went through surgery and um, chemo while I was pregnant, wow. then gave birth, and then um, healthy baby. Radiation. Healthy baby. She's <laughs> turning three in a month. I think you need to really describe what that must have been like for you. I'm a mom of two. I cannot even imagine, yeah. let alone being pregnant, but having to battle breast cancer during my pregnancy. Yeah, it was a little crazy. Um, I relied on science um, to, <laughs> and studies that doctors had done um, to give me faith that everything would be okay and that I could, you know, have pretty aggressive treatment but still um, keep a safe pregnancy. Right. Um, and so. But at the same time, you know, being pregnant gave me a, a positive thing to focus on mm -hmm. while I was going through treatment. Right. So, so how did you meet Grace? Yeah, so um, I, after I um, finished going through treatment, um, I was just, you know, working hard to get back to normal. And about a year later, I, um, I realized kind of the effect that it had had on me and the fact that I was a different person now. Mm -hmm. um, and I was reading an article in the Chicago Tribune um, about David Allen, who's the tattoo artist that's featured in the film. Um, and I was just immediately, you know, captivated by his work and his talent, um, but also by his empathy and what he was able to do um, for women who had gone through a similar thing to me and, and to Grace. Um, so Grace was on his schedule to be tattooed uh -huh. uh, for the following year, and I asked him for some, some recommendations of yeah. people, and she was one of them. And Grace, explain to folks why you decided to get the tattoo and where, because you'll see it in the documentary when you watch it, mm -hmm. but it is a powerful moment in the documentary. Yes, it's really the culmination mm -hmm. of what you see. Um, my body wasn't the same after cancer. I had scars, I had um, what looked like breasts, but aren't the yeah. real thing. And uh, I found out about David's work and what he does is really take 
what you have, this new part of your body, and turn it into something beautiful. Turn it into a work of art that you get to carry with you everywhere you go. Yeah, that you chose because that I chose. that's the important part. And that's what really matters because I didn't choose to get breast cancer and I didn't choose to have everything done to my body that happened, but I did choose to have this beautiful floral tattoo placed all along the side of my scars. And it makes me smile every time I see it. Yeah, and I know there are uh, four people in the audience who make you smile every day, too, yes. because that is your husband and your three kids who were incredibly supportive, especially your husband, because you say he had to take on, I mean, he had to keep his job, take mm -hmm. care of you, take care of the kids, and that support had to mean a lot. It really did, and I think that's something that's really important to think about in terms of survival. It's not just me as the patient, it's your co-survivors. He went through just as much as I did, just in a different way. Right. And he had to take care of those three little cuties and, <laughs> um, and they were wonderful through treatment too. And they've really learned to be very empathetic little yeah. humans, I yeah. think, having been involved. Right. Well, I think I know what you guys need because I feel like when people go through this, they need a break. They need to be pampered. They need to be treated, right? So we called our friends over at Mario Tricocci on Michigan <laughs> Avenue, and they're giving each of you a complimentary so manicure, pedicure, you. and massage. You get oh, to spoil yourself. So sweet. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Thank you so much. Of course. Much. Please enjoy that. It's a wonderful place. Yeah. If you have breast cancer or you know someone who does, you must see this film. It's only 16 minutes, and you have 16 minutes in your day. Grace will be playing at Landmark Century Cinema on Tuesday, November 6th, for Community Shorts Night as part of the Midwest Independent Film Festival. So make sure you check it out.